Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anish and today we'll discuss the complete roadmap for design verification profile in VLSI industry. So we have covered in our channel analog VLSI profile, digital VLSI profile, all those with resources with proper roadmap I have covered in this channel. So if you have missed those, you should go and watch those videos first because this particular roadmap is not for everyone. This is for specific people like who are doing M tech or who are doing B tech and companies are coming for this particular job role, then they should uh, uh, prepare for this profile. Right? So mainly these are for uh, like uh, M tech grads for uh, BTEC grads, they can go and watch those analog and digital VLSI profile that is more important to them because mostly companies come for the, that profile but few uh, like uh, students were also asking for this particular profile so I thought of made a video so this one will also cover the physical design part as well okay so we'll talk talk mainly about digital roles here okay we'll not we'll not talk about analog okay we'll mainly talk about digital so first of all you have to understand like uh, all the free resources will be, will be provided don't worry i will provide all the links will be in the, in the description below okay so what are the topics that you need to prepare actually for uh, design verification right so these are the few topics actually that you need to actually prepare there can be more as well okay i don't have the complete knowledge uh, i gather gather this from my friends my seniors who are working in different uh, like companies like nvidia google qualcomm all those companies they're working on so they told me like basic these things you should have extras you can have depending on the company okay you can obviously study and you can reach out to your seniors but uh, the best of knowledge that i have i am providing to you so you need to prepare digital IC design, static timing analysis, Verilog, overview of physical design and DFT. Uh, this is not that DFT that you think about, right? Uh, low power VLSI design, system Verilog, UVM. Programming, bit of programming, just like data structure, uh, up until pointers and also COA, computer architecture. So these particular things you need to prepare. So uh, where from where you can prepare all this, right? So first of all, there is a course of digital IC design from Professor Janaki Raman. So you can go and follow that. Uh, like it has around like uh, 81 videos. So that this much you have to cover. If you don't like, if you don't like this teaching style, right, you can study from Himangshu as well. So okay, let, until this uh, slides come. So this Himangshu has already covered this for digital electronics part right so the digital electronics portion has been covered by himangshu so you can choose either this resource or this resource okay and about this resource i'll come to back to later so uh, because many uh, students they love for learning from himangshu that's why i'm providing this resource so this is the free resource one and uh, this is the free resource one and for the p this is the actually the paid not completely paid bit of it is free i will discuss more about it at the end okay so you can cover from this as well okay next uh, uh, comes the digital electronics portion so digital electronics portion i will recommend you study from himangshu itself uh, you don't have to go anywhere else uh, the co uh, combinational portion i think is on youtube marathon so i'll provide that in the uh, description below so you can go and watch that okay so that portion is there sequential is not there for sequential uh, because complete digital electronics we cannot obviously provide our fee uh, it is on our paid courses if you want to avail our paid courses uh, the link will also be given there you can go and avail our paid courses okay now the sta portion so sta portion there is a block on STA, so I'll provide the link to that block on the STA. You can study from that, but few students they are like sometimes confused, they need a bit of uh, like video lectures of that, uh, so they are not satisfied with this. So, Himangshu has already uploaded on his own channel a marathon on STA, so you can go and watch that. Uh, that will also clear your STA doubts, right? So, uh, I will recommend you watch that. This is completely free, this is not, nothing is paid, like this is completely free, okay? You can go and watch that. Now, what about the next resource? Next resource is Verilog. Okay, so Verilog, there is a uh, NPTEL play, play, uh, playlist from Indranil Sengupta. You can go and completely watch that. I will provide the link to that. Uh, I will provide the link of that in the description below, so you can go and watch that. So you can follow that for Verilog. Okay, okay. So you don't need to uh, like go anywhere else. Just from YouTube NPTEL itself, you can go and follow that. Okay. Now let's go to the uh, physical design part. So for we'll say physical design, right? You can go and follow. Professor Indralin Singhupta from IIT Kharagpur, uh, he has a complete playlist of NPT itself. You can go and follow that for physical design. Okay, and there is another uh, like a topic known as low power VLSI design. You can go and follow that like from lecture fifty nine to sixty five of the same particular playlist. You can go and follow if you specifically want to study about low power VLSI design. Okay, and all the other other topics, these topics are covered here itself. Okay, so. This as the uh, this was the about the VLSI design part. Now, for system very long, there aren't many resources uh, present. So what you can do, you can learn the theoretical concepts from uh, books like uh, from books which topics 
oops polymorphism inheritance these things and functional coverage data type array etc along with the coding capability so these basic knowledge you should have of system with log because many students ask me from what like exactly what they need to study from system with log so these topics if you prepare that should be enough for interview purpose now this right i'm mainly talking about mtech grads not about btech grads okay so you can go follow this playlist of system with log i will uh, give the link to the description i can you can go and follow this place right so yeah this is the about the system with log part now there is another uh topic known as uh UVM okay now UVM actually I have skipped over here uh, UVM also uh, was there so UVM there is uh, like bit of written literature there so I'll provide the link of UVM uh, in the description because they may ask UVM but very basic things they will ask so I will provide the link to the like that resource of UVM in the description below okay next uh, about programming so programming from where you can do there are many resources for programming so basic C language you should know okay up until pointers you need to study till pointers okay any and for CUA right CUA you just study from any gate playlist uh, you can you will be able to cover the CUA portion computer organization and architecture in computer organization and architecture which portion is important pipeline and cache memory is important that is the important part. pipeline and cache memory is, is important okay so any you follow this playlist okay i will provide the link to all the playlists. this playlist you follow uh, from an uh, and this is from free code camp okay this one is from free code camp and like if you want to study computer organization and architecture from us like we will also like uh, launch this around december so it will come on december if you want to study from us you can avail this course or if you want to study from free you can obviously avail that uh, like you can use those free resources which i mentioned right next few uh bonus topics are there like meta stability so they may also ask you from meta stability so there is one uh, literature of meta stability so i'll provide the link of that literature in the link below uh, in the description below so you can go and go through that if you want to learn more about meta stability okay now uh, another topic there is is fifo so fifo is very uh, short topic so there is a playlist by karim abba so you can go and follow that for fifo knowledge okay so these are the uh, like left around topics miscellaneous topics which they can ask okay these are all like uh, which i got information from my friends and peers on and seniors so they know the best so they told me that okay they they, they get asked from this topic so you also prepare from this topics okay for design verification role or physical design role something like that okay so now that was about uh like all the resources and how to prepare so they will obviously ask aptitude in return test if you want to prepare for aptitude right you can go on Prefusion uh, YouTube channel, there we have a uh, playlist named Apple to Simplified. You can watch that. There we have installed the five years, latest five years of the Gate PY course. Or if you want a full course on Apple, right? We have a full course of Aptitude as well. All those links will be present in the description below. Okay, so bit of part you need to study for CMOS VLSI as well. So, so for CMOS VLSI, these three topics you also need to prepare. So uh, Himangshu has already uploaded uh, a video on his own channel about power distribution in CMOS. This is not complete CMOS VLSI, but one part of CMOS VLSI, this third part. So you can watch this, okay? And the other two parts are actually present on our full course that I will come to just in a second, okay? So you can go and watch this for CMOS VLSI portion, okay? So uh, like for very long, you can follow this book okay this is from Samir Patnikar this book is also very good for very long you can follow this book if you want to study from book or if you want to study from playlist I have already mentioned the links now the important portion is like a uh, few uh, like fundamentals you need to clear right you need to clear before starting all this so it's recommended that at least you complete the network analysis at least until the DC portion no you don't need to complete the AC portion at least until the DC portion you complete and DC portion is completely present in our YouTube uh, channel Prefusion on the playlist named network analysis by Himang Shagarwal. So you can completely study the uh, DC portion that is free. Don't worry that is completely free. Okay. So that part is actually important. So at least you have to have a basic base before starting all this, right? So I will recommend you go through this, although you can directly sh uh, start from digital electronics also, but I will recommend you at least study the network theory. That is important. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to completely prepare for both, right? For analog electronics, for analog role, for digital role, uh, and like, basic guidance you need so i have got a great surprise for you so this one i will come to uh, later so we recently actually have launched a complete campus to core vlsi profile so if you uh, are currently in like in second year third year and you actually are not sure which pathway you want to go okay so my recommendation will be you can uh, avail this course 
you can study both uh, like uh, both pathways analog digital then at a later stage you can obviously switch to some other like which which one is more suitable to you because i have seen many students who who like like they say sir i am liking analog more but then suddenly they uh, switch to the digital and vice versa right they switch to analog so this happens so you don't know so if you are in second year or third year and you are not sure so i will highly recommend you like uh, you can get this course currently this is just uh, this course is just launched okay so huge discount is running i will provide all the uh, like information about the course in the comments below so huge discount is running so you can avail this course in this course right everything will be present uh, all digital vlsa profile content analog vlsa profile content both contents will be present design verification role no it is not completely present but obviously we will guide you through we have contacts we will guide you through which resources you need to follow and i always have shown you so many free resources here for design verification as well so you can follow that okay but for analog vlsa profile and digital vlsa profile you don't need to look any further you can directly purchase this course and uh, this should be enough so you, you will get lecture notes clean lecture notes of all the lectures then doubt solving whatsapp group you will be added to whatsapp whatsapp group and live sessions obviously will happen uh, fortnightly and there will be test series for your written test practices there will be huge assignment problems uh, all those things will be there and obviously himang is teaching i am also teaching few bit parts there uh, so that all those things also will come okay so if you are someone who is not sure what he or she he should pursue, uh, pursue so he can uh, like do this okay he can follow this okay so that was about this and if you want to individually like you are sure okay i want to uh, like go for analog vlsi or i want to go for digital vlsi you can choose any of this course these courses are also, also present in our website i will show you the link and if you want have want to have a personal mentorship or guidance or if you want to know more about gate or uh, something else right life related or if you want to like if you are not sure about studies what field you should choose so if, if you want a personal guidance for me so you can follow me on topnet topnet link also will be present in the uh, comments below so you can follow me in topnet you can connect with me at topnet and i, I can give you one is to one guidance what things you should do and what things you should not do okay so those things are there obviously if you are someone who is not prepared for placements because what may happen is your uh, college right is not a tier 1 college or uh, semi tier 2 college so companies don't come companies don't visit for campus placement so the best route is go for get then you go to ids and then you get will get the same placement opportunities as everyone else so we have also our gate courses so currently for gate 2025 course uh, like uh, we have launched so it is not the complete course but something like uh, like 6 to 7 subjects subjects are completely covered so within this time frame within the short time period of uh, time period for gate 2025 how much you can prepare all those things are mentioned in this course i will provide the uh, launch video of the course as well so all these things Uh, are there for gate two zero two five and for gate two zero two six full courses also are there so you can see for gate two zero two six also full courses are there you can go and uh, purchase that and like we have test series as well for placement as well for uh, gate as well all these things are there so all this information I just need need to mention for gate courses are there individual if you want to purchase subject wise courses those are those things are also there okay so. these things are uh, there basically from mind so basically if few students actually wanted to know about design verification role because they also wanted a road map about it so i thought of making a video um, on it so yeah that's it basically from my end and if you want mo- more information or any other um, informative video you can put in the comments below i will talk about that so just don't forget to avail that huge discount because today is the launch date of that course and after that you will not get that low uh, value low price of that course basically this this course right uh, campus to core a uh, vlsa you will not get this low value later on okay so that is the important point that i wanted to say so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video until then happy learning